Hey guys, and welcome back to Book Buzz. It's week three. We've got some great titles to showcase. Uh, two new titles this week, one backlist title, and we'll show you one more advanced copy that we just got in that's so cool we want to show it off. Uh, so stay tuned. Hey, we're here today to take a look at Hugo Pratt's The Man from the Great North. Uh, this is the first entry in our One Man, One Adventure series, which is a new uh, series that is coming from our Hero Comics line, which is part of the Library of American Comics. Uh, of course, uh, overseen by uh, multiple award-winning editor Dean Mullaney. So what we've got here is sort of a short graphic novel. It's 104 pages. It's an eight and a half, eight and a half by 11 form. And what we do is we take a legendary Italian creator, Hugo Pratt's story, where he was inspired by the Royal Canadian Mounted Police and stories of the great wide northern wilderness, kind of created by Jack London. And he created a story that sort of, you know, is his telling of what those worlds might be like. Uh, it's a challenging story. It focuses on a character who has many, many bad qualities, but also shows himself to have some moments of redemption throughout the story. Uh, and this particular version is unique because uh, uh, the story, while short, was at one point turned into a movie by director Olivier Austin. And in order to create that vision, he asked Pratt for a series of storyboards to help sort of expand the story. Because, as new readers may not know, the book has a rather ambiguous ending. You're not really quite sure what happens to the main character. Uh, spoiler alert, you're still not really sure what the expanded story that's provided in this book. But the storyboards do provide, A, a different sort of style to the storytelling interspersed with the classic story as well as expands a little bit more of what happens beyond the original ending you see in the first book. So this is The Man from the Great North. It's just gonna be in stores this week and uh, I recommend checking it out. So first up we have Kill Shakespeare past his prologue, Juliet, the fifth book in our Kill Shakespeare series. This is a great entry point for new readers as it takes place before the previous four volumes. And then this book here, A Murder Mystery, focuses on Juliet and so it wraps up all those great Shakespearean story arcs into one exciting adventure. So check it out, Kill Shakespeare, Past His Prologue, Juliet. It's coming out this week. So we just showed you the brand new Kill Shakespeare story that just came out. But we also wanted to show you some of what we've done before. Um, this is Kill Shakespeare Backstage Edition, beautiful 7x11 hardcover. As you can see, uh, with the design, we tried to really do uh, an old school, old type book feel, um, a folio type book feel, you might want to say. It collects the first 12 issues of the Kill Shakespeare series. Uh, with annotations by Shakespearean scholars, as well as a new story in the back. Uh, it's really the marriage of the academic side of Shakespeare and the pop culture side of graphic novels. So uh, one of the great things about Transformers vs. G.I. Joe is told by Tom Seeley and John Barber is it's just this raw creativity. It's a totally wild journey down this rabbit hole of what it was like to play with your, these action figures in your backyard as a child. And it's like they almost imagined what I was doing with my toys. But, uh, you know, you travel from Earth to Cybertron and back, you get all the characters, they all get cameos, you just touch on so many aspects of what could have made, or what did make and what could make all these stories just so unbelievably crazy. It's got extra back matter, including the, uh, the G.I. Joe versus Transformers, the movie adaptation, which, pretend, which imagines this all as a giant blockbuster film, maybe directed by Michael Bay or someone like that. Uh, and it has the additional commentary and artwork and development sketches, and just basically it's everything you could possibly get about Transformers versus G.I. Joe in the quintessential collection in stores this January. All right, guys, that's all the time we have for this week's edition of Book Buzz. That was two new titles, one backlist, one future advanced copy coming in January. I uh, hope you liked it as much as we did. We'll see you uh, in a few more days for a special installment of Book Buzz that will focus on holiday titles that you'll find in stores just in time for, uh, for that time of year. I'll see you guys soon.